Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to reflect now today i would like to share with you a book on the history of palestine it is a compelling read written by a palestinian historian goes by the name nur masalha and the book unveils the dark history of the formation of an illegal colonial state under the racist supremacist ideology called zionism that came out of europe in the late 1800s that led to the ethnic cleansing of the Palestinians a history that is repeating as we speak in Gaza Strip and that has already claimed more than 30,000 innocent lives with millions being displaced within the modern day concentration camp as they call it a camp worse than 1948 Nakba the book is called the expulsion of the Palestinians the concept of transfer in zionist political thought between 1882 to 1948 So what is so amazing about this book is the author meticulously exposes from the declassified uh, Israeli state private archives including Zionist leaders communiques memoranda diaries secret deals and meetings with officials namely from the Britain and the US showcasing a premeditated a systematic plan to forcibly remove the native arabs that materialized militarily with brute force in the year 1948 and he also states that the official documents from the zionist relating to genocide and ethnic cleansing in in 1948 that nakba are still classified first the author explores the founding fathers who viewed the native population as a serious problem and plans the idea of establishing a state and the author sheds light on the core ideology of zionism revealing a disturbing desire to uproot the native population The early Zionist founding fathers termed this the Arab problem, Habe'e Haravit, or the Arab question, Hashale Haravit. And they had this notion that it is impossible to make a Jewish state with the presence of the native Arabs in the land. This sentiment, the question of Arab problem, was echoed by some of the main Zionist architects who were emboldened after the Balfour Declaration in 1917. With him, Weishman, being amongst the earliest proponents of transfer schemes a euphemism they adopted for ethnic cleansing Weishman had deep contempt for arabs he once said that arabs were akin to the rocks of judea as obstacles that had to be cleared on a difficult path the author uses multiple references of the jewish leaders who expressed similar hateful views towards the arabs between 1918 to 1929 Weishman He spearheaded the Zionist affairs in Palestine. He increased the European immigration into Palestine, orchestrated illegal land purchases through a number of entities, one of which is called the Palestine Jewish Colonization Association, a sinister plan to acquire more lands and employ only Jewish labor, part of their Zionist doctrine, Hebrew land, Hebrew labor. making many many palestinians farmers and peasants who were dependent on tenant farming unemployed and landless weishman he also attempted to strike secret deals with the arab leaders promising power and financial incentives in exchange of favors implying to help the zionist cause which was transferring the palestinians to neighboring countries the jewish agency was established in 1929 weishman was the head of this entity they formed multiple committees aiming to address the jewish needs of course the genocidal need to create their jewish homeland still alive and well weishman was the one responsible for diplomatic and strategic relations with the british whilst the other principal architect david ben gurion who would play a role in the genocide and ethnic cleansing was a leader of the jewish community the first ethnic cleansing plan was proposed in 1930 to lord passfield in a secret meeting called the Weitzman transfer scheme. The ethnic cleansing plan was to relocate all the Palestinian Arabs to Jordan or Iraq. And his scheme was seeking financial support from the British. Weitzman's transfer scheme gets rejected and Lord Passfield immediately orders for the Jewish immigration and land acquisition to be stopped at the time. And this was the first time there was a conflict of interest between the British and the Zionists. Zionist leaders hearing this rejection was seriously lobbied in the British Parliament seeking an apology for hurting their sentiments after successful lobbying the Zionists resumed their immigration illegal land acquisition in Palestine creating deepening instability whilst also convincing the British commissioners the transfer plan the ethnic cleansing plan as a legitimate and moral thing to do 
you know to build their jewish state and for them there's no harm in kicking the natives out the neighboring arab nations will accept them they will take care of them that was their premise and in 1937 the royal peel commission sides with the jewish agency betrays the native population as the paper proposed not only a partition but also recommended transfer scheme that was pushed insidiously by the jewish agency and this was seen as the biggest victory for the zionist as the first official british recognition of the ultimate jewish sovereignty and according to the author it first it endorses the zionist interpretation of the balfour declaration that the jewish national home meant a jewish state and second it sanctioned the long sought after zionist dream of arab transfer from such a state and meanwhile Zionists did not want to accept the Peel proposal as the land demarcated gave them a small area. But Ben Gurion and his gang thought that this could be a negotiable one with the British later. So these gang of thieves were convinced that this transfer scheme, aka ethnic cleansing plan, was possible and was feasible. It's just a matter of time of getting to establish a state. Later in the year 1937, the Jewish formed the first population transfer committee, aka the ethnic cleansing committee. proposing numerous expulsion plans and there were entities working together such as the Jewish agency executive the Jewish national fund and the Palestine land development company along with the population transfer committee all fully coordinated trying to work out on the arab problem the arab question a plan to depopulate the arabs some of the ethnic cleansing schemes were they came up with they were absolutely comical and indicates the level of evil design is ideologically planning to commit and this proves the state of israel was built on ethnic cleansing i recommend you to read and understand the details of these plans you see in the screen here these are some of the expulsion plans uh, that author has enlisted um according to the author not every ethnic cleansing plan here carry the same weight but these plans were ideological intent to de-arabize that eventually led to using military force brute force in 1948 ensuring a mass exodus that led to the establishing an illegal colonial state an apartheid genocidal state called the state of israel this is one of the highly recommended reads if you want to understand the current context what's happening in gaza this book will connect you the dots you will see the israeli goal is nothing but ethnic cleansing and territorial expansion what they're trying to do is to create an exclusive jewish state above the mass graves of the remaining palestinians if you found value in this video please do consider giving a thumbs up sharing with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this jazakumullah khair for watching inshallah we'll see you in another video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh